the lake is a source of livelihood for some 30 million residents of the three East African countries, nearly one third of the entire population of the region. These are the living results of an intensive capacity building program in 11 towns in Kenya, Uganda and Tanzania on water and sanitation, but with a keen eye on enhancing governance, gender equity and economic empowerment of the local people. Our role was just to make sure that uh, we can be able to strengthen the voice of the, of the local groups, the women, the men and the very poor and the vulnerable groups and ensuring that their role in, um, in decision making for water sanitation development is uh, taken on board. It is a timely gesture organizing these trainings at this time when we are establishing businesses because for me I happen to attend the Lady 3 that's um, local economic development opportunities in Solid West whereby we are exposed to several technologies other businesses we can benefit from using West and even how you can lobby how you organize the collective marketing, how you can design a waste management system. We really try our best to produce the best because we are utilizing biodegradable, biodegradable wastes from town and those from our farms. Whatever we can burn to get that black ash can, can produce very nice charcoal. We go as far as even collecting waste paper from offices. <laughs> Weza wakozi makumi atanu mbabiri. Nange nga kwendi. Noruecho ndi musanifu ku UN Habitant umurimo guwekola. Irane tuwe ya manti mzenemu nange nsamba abage nda kumisomo ukula vika nga tutu nsama uli lago eriba nafenga UN Habitant buyatusaba. So virira tuchitute mtuala yemu. So you find that uh, one of the key activities which we carry out is also promoting hygiene so that people begin to value the essence of uh, safe water, the essence of proper sanitation. There was also the other training which was based on non-revenue management. There's the pipe work system and the water losses in the system. We were enlightened on quality surveillance, especially at the consumer points, whereby we are supposed to carry out endpoint sampling to check if our water is getting contaminated. There was no street sweeping in Homer Bay Town. So the waste were, was scattered all over. But right now, if you go to town in the mornings, you'll actually see the council staff sweeping the streets, and there is proper garbage collection in the town. But after, as a result of this sensitization that caused the attitudinal change, people are now dumping the refuse directly into the refuse bankers. And they also intensified the, the, the system of collecting those garbages on a regular basis. The problems around the lake are numerous. And while the project may not have solved all of them just yet, many residents here know that a revolution is in the making. And they are taking in the benefits one day at a time. <laughs>